Hey everyone, Skull902 here for my first tutorial in... six years? My god. But, have you ever looked at your recordings or streams in OBS Studio and thought, this is good and all, but I know I've seen better? Well, if you're a beginner, or someone like me who's used OBS for literal years but was too stupid to dig around in the right spot, it's actually pretty easy to get your footage looking just about the way it does while you're playing, or in one particular case, at least better than it looked before. Shout out to My Life in Gaming for teaching me this little trick. Let's get started. First things first, if you're playing and recording in full screen without any overlays or what have you, you're not going to need to watch this video for long. Your game should already match your canvas resolution set in OBS Studio. By default, that's the resolution your screen is set to. For example, I'm playing on a 1920x1080 monitor. I have a single monitor set up and for a couple reasons, being able to see my stream chat while I'm playing chiefly among them, I play windowed. So, to get the best out of your recordings in full screen, all you really have to do is right click your video source, go to scale filtering, and select point. Bicubic and area are also good choices, but if the source and canvas match each other, I like point the best. The same applies to windowed games, but with an extra step. You're going to want to select resize output source size for recordings, but only if you don't feel like manually resetting the size of your window for every game, which I'll give advice on later. Again, you're going to get the best looking picture with the point filter if your source and canvas resolution match. But what if they don't match? Good question. To be honest, it doesn't really matter with pixel art games as you can see here with Shredder's Revenge. The game and canvas resolution don't match, but it still looks good. In some cases, like with the VBAM emulator, it might be best to go into the filter options directly and set your base resolution to the exact size of your window, but the difference is negligible. What this really affects is 3D games, particularly with textures and text. Let's use Sonic Adventure's character select screen as an example. My canvas size is set to 1920 by 1080 and this is what it normally looks like with no filters. Good, but with some softness around the edges. When I match the source and canvas resolutions and use the point filter, it looks perfect. Everything is captured as it should be. So let's see what it looks like with the 1080p canvas and... oh my. Sonic's model doesn't look bad, but the textures on his body and the text have all become really pixelated. So what you should do in this case is select the bicubic filter. It doesn't look quite as good, but the image is a bit sharper than it would be by standard without really messing up any details, which helps if you're downsizing the game into an overlay as well. The Lanchos filter is fine at this, but in my personal opinion over sharpens the image with noticeable haloing going on. If you're playing windowed and want your image to be purely the game, your best bet is to set your canvas resolution to whatever your standard window size is, in my case it's 1280 by 720 and make sure your games are running in that resolution or an integer scale of it, then the point filter should do the rest. And that just about sums it up. I struggled for some time to get great looking footage out of OBS Studio and really wish I had learned about this sooner because it's made a world of difference. So I hope this tutorial has helped if you've been having the same kind of struggle. Happy recording and streaming, my friends. I've been Skull902, thank you for watching, and have yourselves a wonderful day.